Hi, this is Denisa, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to program in Python a function that takes uh, two inputs, that is, the two sides of a right angle triangle, and then returns the, the hypotenuse. And then I'm going to go over a related formula, um, the distance formula, that is, to find the, um, the distance between two, give, two known points. Okay, so... Um, the Pythagoras theorem is this uh, formula, as you might know, to find the hypotenuse of a right angle, tri a right angle triangle, given that you know A and B. And the, the formula is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So to find um, the hypotenuse, you'll have to get the square root of a squared plus b squared and um, I'm going to I'm going to transfer that onto code so we're going to make a function that is called uh, find hypotenuse and it takes two inputs you know the side a and side b and so we're just going to type out the formula as it is, okay? So the hypotenuse is is uh, equal to the square root of, so uh, we can do that by, to find the square root, you can do that by um, making a number to the power of a half. And, and this is going to be a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2. So you have our formula uh, our formula right here to find the hypotenuse and um, the last thing you want to do since it's a function you want to return hypotenuse. Um, as you can see here it is uh, it it will work but obviously it isn't um, the most the best way you could code it. You, you know when you want to code you want to make it as readable to humans as possible and it isn't the yeah, the best the best way to go about it but uh, we're going to print out find hypotenuse and uh, the one of the com most com um, good triangle to test this out was is is the three four five triangle so um, side side a is three side b is four and then the hypotenuse is five so if we put in three four we should get five in the console And there you go. So we we know our function works, but we want to make the code look nicer. So you can say um, sum equals uh, a, a squared plus b squared, um, and then you might want to just get rid of this entire part and replace it with sum. So in in this way, it kind of resembles more uh, the first formula. And the second, uh, and you can you, you need to test if that still works, and it gives the same result, so you know it works. Okay, um, so that's uh, how you write a function to find the hypotenuse of a triangle using the Pythagoras theorem. But I'm going to now talk about um, a, the distance formula, which is sort of a related. Uh, um, Formula. So the distance formula is to find the distance between two given points. So uh, uh, x and so say you wanted to you had you had these two points and you wanted to find a distance between them. So the distance formula goes a bit like this. So We'll say distance is equals to um, one x two squared plus y one squared. And you have your square root of that. So uh, the reason this works. Um, is that when you say 
you uh, the x1 minus x2 you're you're really just finding this area right here so that's x this is x um, 1 minus x2 and then the second is this x uh, the difference between y1 and y2 and obviously as you can see here it forms a right angle triangle and then to find the distance you just have to find the square root of that and, and you can see that so this is essentially this is essentially just a and this is essentially just b and the distance is just c if you're equating it to the Pythagoras formula um, and so let's make a, a function to find the distance between two points so find distance and we're going to take x1 um, y1 and x1 uh, x2 and y2 and then we're just going to type out the distance formula as it is like uh, you did before here so this is the square root and it will be this you will obviously see that this um, is very hard to read but we're going to refine it further um, so there you go very messy formula but it works so let's return um, D for distance okay so we can uh, use any arbitrary example to see if the the formula works so say if you had the point zero zero and you wanted to find the this the direct distance to the point let's say one one I'm sure you can work that out in your head but okay and uh, using this function we get this uh, so that's supposedly the distance between these two points um, and uh, uh, like I, like I said earlier this this function isn't very nicely written out so you want to um, you know make it more nicer and more readable so we can replace these two with a and b like they are uh, to maybe equate this to the Pythagoras theorem right so a is equals to uh, the first value right here and so we can write a and then, and then this will be replaced by b and then you can have and then you can and then you'll be able to do um, And then you, what you actually be able to do is um, put in instead of rewriting the formula, you can do find hypotenuse a b because you know you have you have you ha you you're giving these two values and then you're just um, holding the function from there. And then it should work. It should give us the same value as before. Of course, we're missing the value uh, d. So what we can do is we can put this in the return. An alternative way would be to put uh, find hypotenuse in the value, um, but this works as well. And it gives the same value as it did before, so 1.4 and 1.4. Um, and that's it, really. That's uh, the how to how to make a function to make hypotenuse and the distance between two points and how they relate to each other. Yeah. And thanks for watching.